Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Shovel Knight. So we're going to be moving on to our eighth member of the Order of North Quarter today, and I think we're probably going to go with Tinker Knight. But first I want to find out who this is on the road. Kind of looks like, um, Gracie Law at the end of Big Trouble in Little China. But let's see what this is all about. That's foreboding. What magic is this? Phantom Striker. Power. Honor. The traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today on the field of battle. We have both defeated many knights and traveled far. Today, we fight. Stand aside. You and I have no reason to battle. Conflict is a reason unto itself, brave knight. Today, you will be tested. Are you ready? Guess we don't have a choice. Ooh, lightning. This is a Shazam knight. So I thought this would be like all kinds of samurai. Not the case, he's a fencer. That's an awesome helmet. Woo! We seem to be doing okay though. Relatively. One, two, slash! And it's even Steven right now. Owie. Got him. I like those fights where I don't have to use a chalice at all. <laughs> I've been bested, but barely. You still need training to overcome what lies ahead. Farewell, Shovel Knight. Ooh. Where is, uh... Well, let's uh, see if there's any kind of secrets here. I'm kind of curious, all these knights on the road who want to either help or hinder me. Feed ac achievement unlocked, well met. Cool deal. So we'll save the frigid flight till last after we take care of these two, but first... Strike the Earth. And I figured that this was gonna happen. And I thought that may have been a false wall, not the case. And let's go grab all the treasure. So we need to be very aware of conveyor belts here on the trip. Now, I didn't get any upgrades or anything. Ooh, Tinker Rats. So, we need to destroy these when they're shorting out. Now, this has your more traditional Mega Man music. And I'm kind of... I'm kind of sure what the false walls are. Slightly, at least. Hey! And I'm not sure what those are. Okay, now we got gear wizards. Awesome. Much rather have you than the, uh... ones shooting out the... the snowflakes. have to stay careful that's a big gear I'm having flashbacks to uh, ooh we can't even do anything with those I'm having flashbacks to Metal Man stage in Mega Man 2 and we've got that secret let's see what we got here I definitely think we made the right call regarding armor. And now that we know that we've got a trouple here, let's go ahead and refresh. Now he's probably not going to give us the kind of I-Core that we want, but I think just one will be fine. We got the I-Core of Fortune, which should help out some. Oh no! 
No! Wait a minute. Can we head back here? Because that's going to... Ah, crap. Hmm. Well, you know what we're going to do here, guys? We're going to lose a lot of gold. Unfortunately. But I really want to uh, see what that secret was. I thought that we'd have enough ground to actually cover that jump. Not the case. And we have to take advantage that we have this uh, slash attack to strike the ground. Yep. And since we got all the treasure, we can avoid all that. And we'll come back for that treasure. Let's see what all this fuss is about. Ah! However, it looks like we can pogo jump on it. Two, three, four. There we go. That <clears throat> sadly wasn't really worth the trouble, but it's okay. Now that's still going to be down there, right? Yes, it is. So I guess now we can go ahead and use that. <clears throat> now. All is back the way it should be. Woo. And it looks like we're going to have to work our way back up that way. While that checkpoint just sits there mocking us. And you're going to give us a boost when we really don't want one. No false walls. And I guess this stuff lasts... This, uh... i -Core lasts for quite some time. Hey! Provided I survive the encounter. Let's use... Well, it's a bit of a waste, but it's okay. Eh? Oh, I didn't even have to use anything. Cool. So we just have to shovel our way through. And that's our first checkpoint. And much needed food. And we got some night welders there. That's kind of cool. I actually have a lot of friends of mine who are welders in real life. All oil field kind of stuff. So they're very familiar with those masks. And we got a musical note. Hmm. Yeah, come over here, guy. Give me those jaws. Much better. Musical note. Stupid rat. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Let's try this again. Fortunately, these guys are just a one-shot deal. Ow. And down we go. So we know we need to use the wand to take out all the things. Oh, from downtown. Let's... Well, I don't know... There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Kind of. But I will take that as a win. Any fight you can walk away from, right? And we got 22,000 in treasure. Very pleased about that. Now, let's focus on taking on this welder. 
and grab the food again, so we'll be back up to full. At least the food respawns. Now, so help me if I have to deal with the... Oh, hell's bells. Medusa heads. And they may not actually be Medusa heads, but... I have seen these enough to... know... exactly what they're all about. However, it looks like they attack everyone indiscriminately. Let's get up here real quickly. And I'll deal with you in a second. Looks like there is some serious treasure to be gotten. What are we... I think we're gonna get an item here, because why would these guys be on the spikes? Yep. Conveyor belts are not my friend. They're not really anyone's friend, to be honest. What do you got, my man? Mobile gear. Ride over hazards and reach higher places. Indeed, I will pay three grand for that. Hmm. Alright. Ah, so it's not exactly a fly. It's basically we... This is our rush. If you guys get that uh, reference. Hmm. So we just... Like so? Oh! And it jumps. I was not aware that it jumped. But now I know. And knowing is half the battle. And we don't have to go back to... Uh, What's his dink, so that's good. Or to try and get that musical note. So. There we are. Because I want to keep that I core uh, for Tinker Night. And we know to head this way, knock the rat out of the way. And it looks like those guys show up randomly, so... And we will go ahead and take the long way here around the conveyor belts. And it looks like Shovel Knight can actually race past those guys, which is cool. Alright. Right there to the edge. Onward! Stellar. Come here. What's your story? Looks like you have two attacks. Looked a little bit easier than the other ones, though, so... And I think we're just gonna go ahead and leave those alone. Oh! That was unexpected. Oh! There we are. Now, you guys are gonna be... Actually, I know what item to use here. This is a primary time to uh, use the phase locket if we think that we are about to take a fall. Like, oop. I so thought we were about to take a fall. Now, I'm kind of curious, actually, if that conveyor belt will take us up. Oh, crap. Well, I guess we'll find out the hard way. The fails are strong today. Which only makes sense considering the fact we are advancing here in the level. Grab the chicken. And ignore him. Oh, so that's something we can actually attack to unlock. See, that that is definitely the item to use. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to go back the other way. Oh, 
But still, that's uh, something. Don't have anything to fear from the Medusa heads. Don't really have anything to fear from you either, sir. We will just spam that. And... ooh! That was close. Uh, crap. <laughs> oh, so bad. And there's only one checkpoint, so these levels are getting much longer. And I know that there's going to be food for us down near that platform, so I'm not even going to worry about this. I'm just going to kind of charge on through. Go of A. Thank you, Bob. Goodbye, Bob. Look at all my my treasure. So let's time this out right. Not like that, though. There we are. Now, this is probably going to do nothing but kill me, because unless that platform shows up, I'm dead. Woo! Holy crap. All right. Well, then, we are going to go ahead and appreciate the fact that that happened. Get ourselves a golden fish, and because we already have the item here, we're just going to call that good. And there's another checkpoint right here. And... Now, what is this all about? Oh! Interesting. Is this the way we need to go? Kind of. So, now we use our... newfound item. Get some gems. Make, her, make sure we're not jumping all the way. Because there are spikes on the ceiling. Woo! Excellent. And we are not breaking that. I don't want to go through any more of this. Oh! Ah. Missed our... Missed our train there. Drop, drop, drop. Go away. And I figured this would be a bad thing. Oh, they followed me. Woo! It's a little bit full. And yeah, you guys can just stay right there. And you're a jumper. And we actually might have to use our I-Core, unfortunately. No, sir. Too bad we don't have a slide like Mega Man, because that would be kind of interesting. Or maybe we'll get one a little bit later. No telling. Let's be a bit conservative here with our jumping. Yay! Hallelujah! And it seems like you like fire, so... We'll grab that. And do I dare... Yep, I dare. And this leads to things. Beautiful, wonderful things. Just make sure... 
Now we don't get hit by those gears. And fortunately, it doesn't grab the uh, fish lure to track us down. That would be horrible. Whew. Now, quicker fall times here. Like so. And another musical note. Bard Knight's going to be very, very happy with us. And... There was nothing good there. That was a dirty trick, is what that was. Now, the good news is if we die here, we can go ahead and use that food completely to our advantage. And look at all this we get to avoid. Cool deal. Oh, my lord. I was wondering if we were ever going to get one of these. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, this is going to be our buddy. And how. Let's not jump too high. Because we don't know <laughs> what's above us. Because we might have spikes at any moment. And I'm hearing a crushing sound. Okay. Don't get greedy. At least we're not dealing with any of the... Um, the beams from, like, Quick Man stage from Mega Man 2. That would kill me. And what's your story? Ah, I see. Makeshift uh, stairway. And it looks like we are about to take on Tinker Knight. Ha! Ah, did you make all that noise? I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. Just work on letting me pass, little friend. Oh, big words, Tin Man. I'll show you a thing or two. He's a tiny guy. Oh, he's probably going to be in some sort of horrendous mech suit of death and doom. Actually, we've got the, uh, the slash here. We might as well use it. Yeah, this is just phase one. That can't be that simple. Of course it's not. <laughs> Here we go. Hell's bells. Actually, wait a minute. That's convenient. Thank you, buddy. We... Oh. Alright, here comes the drop. Give me some platforms to jump on. Thank you. And we need to be very aware of our positioning. Actually, I think if we just stay right here, we should be able to get him relatively easy. As long as we avoid that gear that would knock us off. Except for this. Ooh. Well, those aren't fists, they're gears, but similar, similar premise. And we- oh, the slash doesn't work, unfortunately. Doesn't matter, though. Beat Accomplished Sparker. That was a fun fight. That was easy. Because I was able to determine the pattern and whatnot, but that was pretty cool. The boss fights honestly seem like really fun battle battles to reward you for making it through the level. And no dream sequence. That's okay though. We'll get another one soon enough, I would assume. Any new travelers? 
Doesn't look like it. Alright guys, well we've got 22,000. I have a bunch of music I need to send to Bard Knight, and I think I'll upgrade my magic off camera and anything else we need to do. And in the next episode, we will take on Propeller Knight. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.